guys welcome back to the channel my name is taylor if you're new here and i'm about to give you a recap on the best past three months of my life i sat down and watched this footage when i was in the process of kind of puzzling it together and it really sat with me and i'm like i don't really know if you're gonna get the same effect as i'm feeling right now i have to say looking back on something like this um it's definitely hard to realize how much you appreciate and how much you really love something until it's actually passed you, like far, far gone, such as my dream apartment in Grand Rapids, Michigan. If I could go back there in a heartbeat, I would. Um, the internship I had in Grand Rapids, Michigan was amazing. Um, it was for Big Event Studios. It was a photography studio, and I got to meet some really amazing people, such as Kevin Matthews, and I got to go on some shoots with Bob Newman. And you're going to get to witness a whole bunch of valuable moments, such as packing my whole entire apartment. You're going to witness me getting my nails done for graduation, and the process of moving out here to California um, all in one video. So I do hope you enjoy, and if it doesn't hit you, um, I really just want this moment to be like on my channel just where I can look back on because I think the expression that you see on my face about how happy I am to have finally made it to a point in my life where I am finishing college, I am moving to my dream state, and I'm getting an internship with a really cool company to be in the post production field. I think I was over the moon in these clips. I'll see you in the next car podcast. Alright, bye. <laughs> Just went and got my nails done. It's probably like a week from when I last went and tried to get them done. They're super cute. It's something I found on Instagram. I'm super happy with it. I've never had almond nails before. So looking at them, like adjust to the almond shape for sure. Let me show you what we're working with here. So now I am going to head over to the mall really quick and see if I can find like a button up. I ordered a bunch of clothes online for my internship in California. I'm going on a shoot with the studio that I'm interning here at Grand Rapids in Grand Rapids, Michigan. They have like a shoot and they're with really professional people. They're doing like photography for them. I want to need to look professional. We're just going to go to H&M and see what we find. Maybe even Forever 21. I don't want to spend a bunch of money because my nails today are $90. I've never spent that much money on nails before. My stuff from H&M and then um, my hemmed skirt, it's like a maxi length skirt and then it has like a, a cute little top. That's for graduation. I think they gave me a hanger, how bougie. Actually, I just thought about something super important that I do have to do this afternoon. And that is research apartments in California and start calling them and seeing if they'll let me stay in them for two months at a time. Sometimes it's called subleasing, but normally when you rent it from an actual apartment complex that has like already furnished apartments and you rent them out, I think that's like a different term. I don't know what they're actually called. I was just wondering if you guys had already furnished apartments that you leased out to people um, that we're doing internships and job opportunities for short-term stay. Good afternoon, it's Taylor and welcome to the moving vlogs. Right now my apartment looks like a literal mess. We have boxes all over the place, quite literally. My mom shipped me like a cat carrier because I was going to put Benji in it. But it's actually a bit too small for me to even fit in it for the like TSA guidelines. So, let me show you what I found for you. I found the cutest little backpack. And it has a little bowl on it. And it also has, um, not this, but this is super cute. A little zip thing and some side pockets. He'll be able to use this one a lot, hopefully. Um, the reason for this purchase is not for the California trip. Unfortunately, Benji can't go with me on the California trip. He actually has to go and stay with my parents. Long story short, I have a quick trip before graduation to get my hair done before my life gets chaotic and I don't have time to do anything. But the second find I found 
was this little bear like jumpsuit like look at this it's a little sweater and it's so cute and it's furry on both sides this would be amazing for like winter when i take him outside when it snows come see your sweater look at him he's got his tail wagon can i go I cannot right now. <laughs> Everything fits, I think this will be successful. All the shoes will obviously have to go in a different box. I just finished my Grand Rapids internship. So I worked with a bunch of food stylists and I worked closely with like their editor. I even got to sit in on some meetings and I got to meet Kevin Matthews and I got to sit down with Kevin Matthews and help him on an upcoming project that he's actually in the works of, which is super cool. I wasn't expecting anything from them because it is an internship. I'm the one that's getting the experience out of it. They're giving me the knowledge and the experience. I shouldn't be giving you anything else. They gave me a card. I have to show you how cute the card is. I have this cute little kitty cat and he's inside a box and it has like a little desk right here and it says one box closes and another one opens. Taylor, thank you for all your help. Have a great adventure. It's been great working with you. We know you will do great things. Good luck in your travels and in an LA. Please keep in touch. Super stressed out but I'm over the moon and I'm happy and that's where we're at in life right now. Oh hi Benzi! As far as my packing, I didn't want to talk too much just because I don't know what clip this video is going in because I know I've been filming a lot and I just haven't been doing anything with the footage, but I do want this footage to like look back on and oh my god, this is why I hate not waterproof mascara because it's all over my face. Um, so I have some boxes over here. I'll just go ahead and show you in case I do end up leaving it in the video. Over here, if it'll focus, my camera hates me because I dropped it the other day. My shoes are in here that I'm going to wear. The only thing that's missing is my Doc Martens, which I think I already showed you. The new ones that I bought for my internship. Oh, they're beautiful. Let's just say that. So we open up the box here. These are a size 8 Jaden boot. I actually learned today that all the Jaden boots have the zipper on the inside here. And then the non-platform ones don't have the zipper. So... Looks like this, it's super shiny. I think my boot actually looked like this when I first bought it. It's just been really worn out. And then I'll probably bring my older ones. And then when I go to Joshua Tree, is one of the stops I wanna make before I get to LA. I'm probably gonna bring these in my bag just where I can hike in these ones, but they won't be in that box. So it'll probably just be this. Yeah, this is all my clothing. I literally sat down with my best friend. He's the best. I adore him as well. He literally gave me opinions on my outfits and like helped me. I'm an overthinker. So every single one of my outfits plus everything else, my other generic clothing that I wear all the time is inside of here. I have a bag with all this stuff I'm going to bring into the hotel room with me slash what I'm bringing to Arkansas when I go get my hair done. He'll be not included in this journey. I have two more boxes I'm working on. This is all the cleaning supplies that I'm going to be using. Over here, laundry stuff, spices, towels. I might even see if I can fit my pillow and blanket in there. Um, last but not least, this other tiny adorable box. Can we get, can we just take a second to adore how small and cute these things are? All my toiletries, which all these will be fitting in there. Whatever doesn't fit, I guess I can always bring with me in a backpack. Moral of the story, we're on a roll. I don't think I'm gonna do any more packing today, just cause I need to leave for work soon. First stop is Oklahoma City, and it's about a 30 Starting route to Hilton Garden in Oklahoma City, North Quail Springs. the second day of the road trip. I didn't film any at the 
hotel. I stopped at Starbucks this morning and I also got gas. I got an Irish cream cold brew, a banana nut loaf, and a chocolate cake pop. So the first stop is gonna be Cadillac Ranch, which I believe is like a two hour drive. And then after Cadillac Ranch, I'm going to um, navigate to the hotel. Originally there was like a Sandy Peaks tramway I also wanted to stop at, but they're closed on Tuesdays. What's the odds? So anyways, I'm not worried about it. I'm actually kind of tired. So, it is what it is. I'll go see the Cadillac Ranch little cars and then head to the hotel. And we're excited about everything at Joshua Tree anyway, so it was fun. I'm making the most out of my trip up to California. And I also have coffee over here, which I'm probably gonna dump, but I was in the process of trying to find a straw and I can't find a straw to save my life. Like, I could have swore I would have kept one in here. But I guess maybe I didn't. That seems like a dumb thing to throw away if I had one. Unless I used it. But I do want a straw. So I kind of sad. But it's whatever. I navigated to Cadillac Ranch. It's like actually three hours and 40 minutes. So four hours there, and then I guess the rest of the hotel. I think it's a total of 12 hours. We'll just see how the day goes. It's a good day to have a good day. I believe this is called Britain, Texas. It is so cute though, with like all the windmills and the like Texas designs. Like, oh, look at that. And then over here we have the bales of hay with the windmill. Yeah, yeah. Super cute. So I only found one open availability in Flagstaff, Arizona for a Hilton hotel. And I came in and I was like, okay, now I kind of understand why it costed so much. <laughs> it was like a walk-in shower and like everything. I don't know. It just looks really aesthetically pleasing. Today we are starting the drive to California. I'm stopping in Drill City. It's right by Joshua Tree. I technically could make it to Los Angeles in one city. I'm only like a five hour and 30 minute drive and I've been driving like around roughly 12 to 15 a day. I'm actually excited to have a relaxing day and actually get to do something. I need to finish one of my papers for my last internship that I had in Grand Rapids, Michigan where I can turn my paperwork in for that to get the hours approved. I've basically been go, go, go this whole entire week. I'm definitely ready for some downtime if you can't tell. I've been waking up super early like, all this week. But you know, I like when I'm productive. It makes me feel super motivated and I love that. I don't know if it makes anyone else feel super motivated. Before I forget, because I'm terrible about showing you my hotels. This is the one in California. It has like two mirrors, two sinks, toilet, a tub shower, which is kind of neat. Oh, full length mirror, king bed. Not much to it, but also a lot at the same time. Cause this is like a super nice hotel comparison to the ones I've been staying in this week. Um, and then there's like a view of like this pond fountain thing. And then there's also a little desk area. But with that being said, we're gonna go head off to Joshua Tree since it is only 11 o'clock here, so. I'm gonna go to Joshua Tree, hang out there for a little bit, um, probably get some food before that. running stages of unpacking so I'm gonna wait to show you the apartment until like I'm completely done so we're gonna make this disaster look a little better and then I will get back to you when the apartment looks a little less tragic it's time to get some Taco Bell and put out some jammies if you know what I mean 